Hey, what's up, everybody? This is JT with Fun Crush. I'm uh, going to create another uh, Python video, and today we're going to do functions uh, using Python 3. Uh, so, what I'm going to do right now is just name the function. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because as we get more advanced, you're going to want to know how to do functions and how they work. So, I figured why not just do a simple how to function video just to uh, give some people some reference if they need it. Um, and I'm going to do a couple more lines just so people know what I'm doing uh, so what I'm doing right now is just going to show you instead of tell you how these things work and by the way don't worry about all these yellow lines this is just the ninja the IDE that I use So let me just save this. Now you'll notice that um, what I did was create a function named hello. And the reason why you use functions is because as you start writing a whole lot of code, what you want to do is have that reusability. So you make a function and just call upon that function whenever you wanted to do something, whether it's a calculation or um, in this case it's a print statement, a pretty basic one that's just one line. But as you go along and, you're, and, you're, and you get more experience with, with coding, um, functions come in handy and when I create more videos uh, with the Star Wars game you'll see that uh, there's a lot of functions used to do different calls so um, what this is is just a simple print that says say hello to Clark Kent we all know Clark Kent is a Superman CK is Clark Kent equals Superman and what I'm doing is calling upon the hello function and passing this variable through it everything inside the function is local everything outside is global so all we're doing is passing that through so as we Save it, we'll run it just so you see what I'm talking about. And you see, say hello to Clark Kent, hello Superman. So, um, I'll give you one more example how you can pass through. And so, I'll do another call, and what we're going to do here is, and you'll see it works just the same. Right, so as you can see, you could either, and again, it's all for your reusability. If you're going to use CK a lot, well, then define it. Right, Superman equals CK. Instead of typing out Superman, just type in CK. Same thing with this string lowest lane. If it's going to be a one-time use, and just put in there lowest lane. Um, so now let's get into a little bit more, a little bit more interactivity with, the, say, a user, and we'll do one more example of print. I'm mean, sorry, of a function. So we'll do another one. Um, let's name this one uh, Smallville, I guess. And for all you Smallville Superman fans, I think you're following along a little bit better than anybody else. But um, we'll give this this time. We'll give it two. And what we'll do now is just pass through. Uh, we'll put DP for Daily Planet, and then we'll put in here. Let's see, A plus B, right? Now in this case, we have to return it because see, we're actually performing something, and we want to return whatever value DP has is holding. And of course, as you can tell, we're going to be passing values through here, left and right. That's the whole point of the function. And so, as it's doing that, you're going to be you're going to be returning whatever values are in there. So let's just see what I'm talking about. Uh, before we do, let's just break it off. And when you see a, a normal print, it just means break, it means space, new line. Uh, so now that that function is set, and again, this is just a small one with two lines. Let's put, uh, and we'll see here for. Let's do a um, say a random number game, right? Uh, not random number game. Sorry. Let's do a um, what's a good example? Let's do pin numbers, right? Pin number generator. Since we're doing addition and subtraction here, so let's do pin number generator and let's let's say let's get something from them. Let's do um, let's see here. Let's see, let's do how many, and you'll see where we're going with this. And just before I get to what I'm doing, let's just do a simple one, right? So as you can see, let's do four and four, or three and three, three and four, whatever. So three and four. See what I'm doing here? I'll save this and we'll run it see how we have seven 
because we're passing 3 and 4. So we're saying that DP equals A plus B. And we're passing that in there, correct? So that's what that is. So now let's get back to the more where we're going to ask somebody to do something. So what we're going to do now is just put TV equals input. Meaning that the U is going to type something in. And then we'll put in here, I don't know, let's put what year did Smallville air on TV. Right? And then we're going to come down here and put year equals input. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is just and the reason why is we're just we're just trying to gather numbers to to make a random it's not really gonna be random since we didn't import random, but um all we'll do is just um tell them right and then we'll come back down here and just call our function right we'll put smallville and then we're gonna put in t v and we're gonna put in year. And then be done with it. Well, don't forget this. And looks good. So we'll save it. We'll also run it. And again, don't worry about those yellow lines. So as you said, we're, we're prompting the user. This is the input function, right? So we're saying how many episodes of Smallville were on TV? I'm pretty sure it was 217, right? What year did Smallville air? That was 2001. So now what we're saying is your two entries were 2172001. So now what we need to do is make a random pin out of that, right? So using the function, right? All we're going to do is add about four more lines. We're going to put uh, TVN for TV number equals um, integer, and then we're going to put TV in here because we need to make that now a number. Same thing with year, same exact uh, process, right? And we're going to just put uh, year n for year number equals year. I'm sorry, integer year, and we'll do two more which is going to be for the actual pin number we'll put pin equals tvn plus year n or you can even put multiply if you want let's just put multiply equals uh year n and then just take that and make it a string so all you want to do is make that a string and then down here you have to have another print statement to give them their actual Right, and then you just put down here pin, because you already made it an integer. Okay, great. So let's just run this, and then we're done. Um, so again, it's going to say how many episodes of Smallville? Again, two seventeen. What year did Smallville air on TV? Two thousand one. And then their pin number is now four three four two one seven. And you can even make that smaller, whatever you wanted to do. And just to demonstrate how to use functions. I know I sort of went real quick, but if you want, email me jt at funcrush.com. I'll send you the source code. And just get rid of these blank lines, um, this white space. Um, and and again, this is just I this is just ninja all these lines. But uh, hopefully now you know what functions are. And if you have any questions or want the source, please hit me up. All right, thanks guys. Bye.